Today we are going back into pyrotechnics. This is not exactly pyrotechnics because we're using dry ice, but in some cases they both still burn. So, today we're going to be combining dry ice, water, and dish soap. Behind this, this dish soap I found in my house. So, I'm going to pour some in. Don't know how much, but whatever. So, I'm going to put in some dry ice, see what happens. <laughs> oh wait, it'll do that here. overflowing <laughs> Whenever I touch the bubbles, they kind of st stick to my hand until I pop them. And I'm using double layer gloves because dry ice, you should not never pick up dry ice with. I, I probably shouldn't pick it up with two gloves on. So, three, two, one. <laughs> Massive overload. Dropping some shaved dry ice pellets in. bubbling up is since I don't know why soap bubbles but since when carbon dioxide the dry ice and the oxygen meet it forms well it kind of steams but the but the soap keeps it to in one area which forms these bubbles so these bubbles are have water or dry ice water vapor in it. So it's basically carbon dioxide bubbles. Which is cool because most bubbles aren't made of carbon dioxide. <sighs> wow. Whenever the bubbles pop, they emit carbon dioxide. Okay. <laughs> There's the dry ice.
And the reaction has stopped. Kind of, I can still hear some from the first thing of dry ice. And in a minute, I'm going to show you what it looks like, what the dry ice looks like in just water, because when I was blowing some of the bubbles, it was cool The what the dry ice looked like. So, I'll be right back. I'm back with a bowl with just water in it, and I'm going to put the dry, the dry ice with the soap back in it, but there's going to be no soap in it. Yes, there's a little bit of soap, but that's okay. Because we're just looking for the reaction with water. The soap's not going to do much. If I cover it up with my hands, okay, if you if you look at the dry ice, it looks like it has this titanium outlining. I cover up some of it. Okay, let's add a little bit more to there. I like what it's doing. So I want to see more. It seems like the second piece is actually, instead of making, or instead of reacting like it, it's sort of like exploding like that. It's exploding it. Okay, I have some more water, water here. Let me see what I'm doing. Okay. Look at the air pockets. That's because there's more water. The more water... That's what happens when you add it. They start to create bubbles, like the soap, except for these ones aren't soap bubbles. These are just carbon dioxide bubbles, which when exploded, they shoot out carbon dioxide. So if I put in some of this crush dry ice. You can see it, it just, just sits there. Let me take them out. For this and probably other videos, I'm going to be using this Atervis tumbler. If you want to know what I'm using, Curve this number. I don't necessarily know how much they cost, but that's what my family drinks out of. Mainly our Turfish tumblers because they're easy to use. So I took out some some of the water and added more dry and added the other piece of dry ice. So the more dry ice and the less water kind of means kind of means, it doesn't always mean that there's going to be more of this. Let me pour a little bit more. I'm destroying an another piece. Let's drop that piece in. I'm going to save this piece for later. And if you see, I'm tending to be quick with the dry ice since it burns. And I just dumped in some little dry ice pellets in the cup, and it creates this, like, fizz, almost like this, except for it's not escaping. And if I put... So, I... I'm going to zoom out. Never mind, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna leave that off to the side so you can see it. But I'm also going to have a cup here so we can watch its reaction. 
when I add these tiny pieces of dry ice in them. In it. Okay, so this dry I got this dry ice piece from the bucket right there. And if you look at it very carefully, try not to burn myself. Uh water actually froze onto it. So I'm gonna take this piece of cardboard, dump some dry ice in there. Wow, the ice just came off like it was glass. So I'm gonna try and pour the dry ice out of here so I don't get in trouble. I'm pouring some water as high as I can. Now it's starting to make that explosion kind of creation. I wonder how cold the water is, but I'm not going to test that, because I'm smarter than that. Oh! Uh, you saw that I grabbed onto the bull. I'm actually trying to move it very carefully, I yet still trying to move it hard enough. And it actually wasn't m moving, because there was, it was kind of stuck to the ground. So I'm going to... Take the dry ice out. Kind of squeeze out this water because I really water in my clothes. That was a bit okay. Let's see. I'm gonna. What I am going to do is I am gonna leave this piece of dry ice here and collect some water. It's not a lot. And splash it on it if I can. Hold on. Push some dry ice in. See it smoke as I go dump this out. Very carefully. Okay. Let's let's dry ice. Listen very carefully. That is actually the bowl reacting with this dry ice. If I hold it in. Pop that. Dry ice, dry ice, more dry ice, more dry ice, and even more. But this isn't dry ice. This is water that isn't an ice cube, but it's gone kind of a step further into an ice, icy kind of look. And so that's going to conclude today's video drop a like down below and subscribe and comment what you want to see next uh i do pyrotechnics minecraft call of duty other any a lot of things so your support really means a lot so thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time see you later